before we get started with the video today guys I want to let you viewers out there know that only a small fraction of you guys currently watching are actually subscribed to my channel so make sure to smash that subscribe button for instant updates about videos that I release and other announcements and also smash that like button to help my channel out enjoy the video yo what is up guys it is Simul here back with another epic 7 video now prepare for a long one guys because I'm here with the long awaited hell raid and normal raid guide I'm going to be covering the units that you're going to want to build and how to tackle every single boss. Um, now all the bosses will be in one video so you guys can always refer back to this video so make sure you bookmark this video um, and whenever you try to tackle a new boss or try a new boss fight you can always refer back to this and you know just check out what you need to do for specific bosses. Now I'm going to be covering what units you should build for hell raid and normal raid in general. Um, obviously there's certain units that you can use for certain bosses but you're generally going to want to build units that you can use in multiple bosses. Um, some units actually that you build can actually use in every single boss fight so you really want to know or you really need to know which units you um, can use in a lot of bosses because you don't want to waste your resources in a unit and have it only be useful in one boss when you could have built another unit and it can be used in like three or four right? So I'm going to tell you guys what units you should build uh, just because they're more flexible and usable in other areas. Um, you'll see that a lot of Hellraid units actually can be used in A13 as well. So yeah, early game is all about resource management and I'm going to try to help you guys out by telling you what units to build for Hellraid. Now why Hellraid guys? Well if you're looking at my screen here, um, I'll show you guys what Hellraid pieces can turn into. So if I look at level 88 pieces, you'll see that there are these swords, right? These swords are all Hell Raid pieces. Now these are considered to me like pretty badly rolled for a Hell Raid piece. And you'll see if you're a newer player, these are crazy good, right? Uh, this is like 46% sub with 11% crit chance and 5 speed. That's insane for early mid game players. On the same with the chest, you can get a lot of immunity chests, um, chests here. It's a very good source of immunity set here. You only need one more piece with this to get your immunity set. In early game, since you don't really farm Azonac that lot, it's a really good source of getting your immunity set early. You'll see like these pieces are insane as well. There are other choices you can get from Hell Raid as well, but they're not that great, guys. And also, um, like I mentioned in a lot of other videos, Hell Raid also has a one-time drop for bosses, as you, as you can see here. And those drops can be very good as well. So you really want to do Hell Raid. It's just a free source of gear. You can get one of these crazy chests or swords every single month. And it always rolls pretty well because it is a level 88 gear. Um, but yeah, it's different from Arena gear, guys. I know Arena gear rolls very poorly, even though it's 88. But Hell Raid gear will always roll like it's reforged. So very, very nice to have. Now, with that, let's get into what units you guys want to build for Hell Raid um, and Normal Raid. I'm going to go over the units that you can cover or, uh, multiple bosses with and potentially use in other areas of content as well. So, to get started, guys, you'll see on your screen here, um, we actually have three roles that you're going to want for Hell Raid. Um, it's technically four because Strip and Dispel should be separate from Death Break, but a lot of um, defense breakers you're going to use in Hell Raid are actually going to have a built-in Strip. Um, so, I'll cover that more in a bit. Um, so you're going to run three, um, you know, rolls basically. And the fourth unit, you're going to double up on a roll that you need extra help with. Um, certain bosses will need you to double up on certain rolls, and I'll cover that in a bit. And also a side note, guys, um, DPS, there's going to be single target and AoE DPS. Um, for Hell Raid, this is very important because some bosses, you need a lot of AoE. And some bosses, you don't really need that much AoE, and you can focus more on single target and do a lot of damage to the boss, which I'll cover for every single boss what you need anyways. So these are the best units for each role in my opinion for Hell Raid, mostly because they're really OP for certain bosses, and you can take them around in a lot of areas of content and use them for multiple bosses in Raid as well. So starting with the Cleanser and Healer guys, I think it's no surprise that you're going to see Tamarin here in the S tier. Very OP, you can use her in every single boss, she's the best healer for every single boss, um, besides like maybe one where you want more cleansing, uh, but that's okay, you can just bring A and Momo with her, which is also an S tier, and she can also cleanse and heal for you as well. Um, a lot of bosses, you can just bring Tamarin and Amomo if you have them, and they can just like, you know, solo heal and cleanse your team. You just need two DPS with them, and it'll be fine. Um, we'll cover that in a bit, though. Um, another S tier healer is going to be Rowana. She really makes Hell Raid super easy, especially if you want to auto Hell Raid, guys. You need Rowana in it. Um, she just makes it so that um, your team just constantly gets CR pushed and constantly um, will be, you know, getting healed because there's a lot of counter attacks and dual attacks and whatnot in Hell Raid, so very strong. And, th and then in the A tier, guys, we have Deanne. So Deanne has an attack buff, very strong. It's just that a healing, or her healing is a bit lacking. So you really need to pair her with another healer. Um, but yeah, she's pretty good. The attack buff is nice and the barrier is nice. It's just that her buffs get stripped a lot in Hell Raid, so it's not as powerful as in like PvP. Um, and then we also have Lilius. She's a very good cleanser. Um, you can actually use her in auto Hell Raid, um, where, where she's S tier. But just for normal clear, guys, I think she's just like an A tier because... Um, 
you don't really need a knight in hell rate. The damage output isn't that crazy. Um, it's mostly a DPS check, so yeah, you're, instead of running a you know a knight, you can just run a third DPS, and it's very very powerful. Um, and then the B3 of Angie. So Angie can only be, really be used if you have the S3 in, um, exclusive equipment that can cleanse with your S3. Um, and even then, she's not that great because Aimomo just just does what she does better, right? And uh, I guess you could take Aimomo and Angelica together if you don't have more than um, any other soul weavers that are good. But yeah, Angie's B tier, guys. I don't think she's that great. Now for DPS, guys, we have a lot of DPS that are viable. So there's a lot of AOE DPS checks in Hell Raid, and there's also going to be a lot of single target DPS checks you're going to have to do. Um, so the top tier ones are all listed here in S tier. So we have SSB, Villager, Bologna, Vivian, Luna, Landy, Arby, Kana, Spectre Tenebria, and Sealerina, and also Champion Zorado. So they're very, very powerful, all have very strong um, damage capabilities, all have AOE and like some other utility. If you have these units, guys, it, you won't go wrong in building any of these. These can all be used in like three, four bosses and are very powerful in their own right. And then A tier, guys, we have units that can also be used in a lot of bosses, but they're not as strong in my opinion. Balance is on, Yuna, Kron, Strays, and Blaze Dingo. Although they, although they are very powerful, um, they're, they're not that strong compared to S tier units. S tier units are just way better um, at just doing damage and providing support for the team. And then in B tier, we have Araminta. I just included her because uh, I felt bad for her because I kind of just like ignore this hero and she's never used anywhere i've never seen her used but technically she can be used in hell raid i think when i first started i actually used her because i wanted an attack buffer for hell raid um which is pretty nice so airmouth is in b tier guys and then for strip and defense breakers we have two free to play options in falcon aquarian and aeros very powerful at stripping uh, very powerful at defense breaking um, we have luka if you have her an isle of violin she can strip as well and defense break and Asaria is very very nice as well with her s3 strip and defense break and her s1 defense breaking and our S2 is very OP, especially if you pair with Tamarin, guys. Then, like, Asaria is like SSS tier, and Tamarin is like SSS tier as well. So, if you have Asaria and Tamarin, just bring them together in raid, and it's going to be really easy. Uh, and then we have another stripper in A tier. We have ML Rin. Um, so, this unit's actually very, very good at one boss, at Queen. She can actually solo strip Queen for you if she's fast enough and tanky enough with effectiveness. So, if you have her and you're struggling with Queen, try building her really tanky and with high effectiveness and, like, super fast. And you can keep her at 5 stars, and she can actually just solo strip the. Uh, queen boss over and over which i'll go over in a bit when i go over to the queen's mechanics so yeah these are the units that i think are very very powerful for hell raid and what you should build um i mean it's not to say that you can only use these units guys there's multiple units you can use in raid because raid to be frank is not that difficult for newer players it's definitely hard but once you get better gear you'll realize that hell raid is like super easy so um yeah of course when it's super easy you can just use any single unit that you want <laughs> and uh you'll be able to clear it uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for the units guys now let's get into the first boss and the first boss that I recommend you guys to tackle is going to be Devour Arahakin. Now you can tackle any boss that you want in whatever order you want, except the Queen. The Queen, in order to take on the Queen, you need to kill two of the bosses first. But I recommend Devour Arahakin first because he is the easiest in my opinion and has the least mechanics. So the main mechanic of this boss, I'm going to touch it over his skills really briefly and go more in depth when I fight him. Um, so he's going to have two adds in front of him and while those adds are alive, he's never going to use his S3. It'll stay off cooldown, but he won't use it. So you want to kill those adds and you want him to use this. Why do you want him to use it, guys? Well, when his S3 is available and the adds are live, he actually has immunity, so you can't defense break, and he has a huge damage reduction, 80%. So you're going to be doing like barely any damage. Now, when his S3 is used and it's not available and it's on cooldown, you'll actually not be able to be buffed. So before you kill the um, adds and actually make him S3, you want to buff up because after that, you're actually not going to be able to be um, buffed on your team so if you have like a tamarin s3 s2 like for the attack buff you want to use that right before he uses his s3 after his ads are dead and that way you can actually have your attack buff um, before the uh, phase where you can actually do damage basically when the ads are dead and s3 so that's your phase to do big damage before then you want to kill the ads now it's important to kill the ads because if the ads are low hp and they get their skill their s3 off they actually heal themselves and if they're actually higher percentage hp than the boss is they'll actually heal the boss. So you want to make sure the adds are as low as you can, even if you can't kill them, so they don't heal the boss. Now for this boss, guys, I recommend taking one or two healer or cleansers. So like you can run like Aimomo and Tamarin, and then you really want just like a lot of AoE DPS to deal with the adds. So I'm running one healer and cleanser and three AoE DPS, essentially. This is a viable strategy as well, as long as your healer is fast enough to actually heal. Um, Aimomo is really good for this, though, because she can cleanse the speed debuff that the S3 does. So let me show you the boss fight real quick. 
So here he is, the big purple spider. You guys might have seen him in the side story. He's very, very similar to what he does in the side story. Um, so what you want to do is, you'll see that if I attack him with Tamarin, you'll see how much damage it does. 500 damage with my S10. -A. So you want to make sure you get his S3 on cooldown, and by doing that, um, he'll drop his damage buff and his immunity buff, so you'll be able to debuff him with defense break and actually do damage. And the way you do that, guys, is kill the adds. When his adds are dead, he'll S3. This is why AoE is really nice, because, um, yeah, obviously you want to kill the adds as soon as you can. So I'm just going to do as much AoE damage as I can. And you don't have to kill it right away. It's not like A13 where you want to one-shot them right away. I'm getting tired of you. Bye bye now. I I And yeah, my SSB is uh on Wyvern one shot here. So she doesn't have max crit, but it'll be okay. And now as are dead, so he will S3. And then you'll see he drops the buffs, and I get unbuffable and speed down. Hopefully his defense break lands, I kind of doubt it. Yeah, even during this phase, guys, you actually want to keep killing the adds, because you see their skill is ready. Um, so when they use it, they'll actually either heal themselves if they're lower percent HP than the boss, or heal the boss if the boss is lower percent HP. So in the beginning, in the first like 50% of the boss, he'll never really get healed. But once you get to like 30%, you really do not want these spiders to heal the boss, because he heals a fat amount, and will just make your run longer, and the longer the run is, the worse and harder it is, because he gets stacking, attack, and speed every turn, so the boss will, you know, keep scaling, um, it doesn't really matter to, like, a certain amount, so, yeah, I really recommend saving your Arkies for, like, 30% to nuke down the, um, the adds with it. So, I could damage the boss here, but, um, I'm just going to soften up the adds a bit. Now, this is perfect, my villager will clean sweep. Probably should target the boss there. I'm scared. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep hitting. And you'll see, uh, I'm unbuffable until his S3 is going to be off cooldown. Bring it on. You want to try me? And his basic attack actually has a chance to stun, so kind of annoying. You aren't even fit to kiss my. Uh, don't know why I assume that, but sure. I think I'm going to faint. Yep. So there's no point in me s 3 ing there because I can't buff Run yet. Before it's too late. And you just really want to save your AoE skills for Let's this phase when he uh, is about to use his S3. Shall we so yeah, go? his S3 is off cooldown, you'll see he gets the buffs again. I got the defense break off before though, so I can actually Not damage bad. him a bit more. <laughs> you disgust me. I'll show you what I've got. If they won't get out of the way, we'll cut our way through. I'm scared. And now I'm gonna S3 because um he's about to S3. So I wanna use this before I get the um unbuffable. Don't come near me. Now bring it on. And you'll see the damage is super low even with defense break. So I still have the defense or uh, the attack buff, guys. And you'll see I'm doing so much damage. And the reason why he just got his S3 back is because when you drop him below 50%, he gets an extra turn and will get his S3 back. So just keep that in mind. And I'm gonna burn the adds here. Very important to kill the adds so they don't heal the boss. Not bad. Shall we go? Ladies and gentlemen. And I'll buff my team again right before he has threes. Before I get the uh unbuffable buff. You can't close your eyes. And at this point, since the boss is pretty low, if I don't one-shot the adds, they'll most likely heal the boss. So it's a good spot to use Arky if you're struggling with damage. If they won't get out of the way. We'll cut this our way is through. my justice. But I'm a Chad. I don't need it. Do you have yeah, like Green Villager, very very powerful. Um, S10 a is really nice as well. Just like anything with a lot of AOE is really nice. Um, there's not a lot of damage coming out from this boss. It's mostly just a DPS race, so you want to try me? pretty fun. I probably can kill the boss here. You aren't even fit to kiss huh? my feet. 
Don't come near me. Not bad. Look into my uh, probably eyes. like one more turn. Say my name. Yeah, but you'll see my team didn't really take that much damage. It's just mostly just you gotta do the damage, right? Dead? Nice. And that's the boss, guys. You also get, make sure you remember the one-time loot from this boss. And then make sure when you kill the boss, guys, you always go to the waypoint. And you clear portal and don't yield, because uh, you'll have to kill the boss again. But that's the first boss, guys. Um, pretty easy, lemon peasy, right? So, lemon squeezy, so. Not that bad, just bring, you know, 2 DPS or 3 DPS and, you know, healing cleanser or 2. And you'll be fine, just make sure you have a lot of AoE covered. And now after the Spider-Man, I'm going to recommend you take on Executioner Carcanus. Um, I think he's pretty easy as well. You can use pretty much the similar units with Executioner Carcanus because he kind of works the same way where you want a lot of AoE damage. His main gimmick though is he will debuff you a lot when he attacks. Um, and what that does is it actually makes him have a higher chance to evade. And every time he evades your attack, he'll actually counterattack um, and do a lot of damage. So when you're debuffed, you actually want to hit one of the ads in front of him. The ads in front of him will actually never die. They just kind of just spam debuffs and are really annoying. Um, so on the turns that you are debuffed and you can't cleanse it off, just hit the ad in front of him so you don't proc the counterattack and don't take too much damage. Um, also what happens is that at 70% and 40% guys, he's going to stealth. And if you don't break him out of it, he actually gets bonus stats and heals. So you want to make sure you save some AoE for when he's about to hit 70% and 40%. And also when he goes below 40%, he'll actually start enraging and... Uh, you want to Arky spam here, like, there's nothing else to, uh, to say because he just does a lot of damage. Um, even if you have a lot of gear, it's actually kind of crazy. Um, basically what happens is, like, every attack he hits twice and you'll AoE defense break you. So it does, like, a crap ton of damage, guys. So save your Arky's for 40% and just nuke this bug down. Um, for team comp, guys, uh, I only recommend um, 2 DPS for this. I think you really need 2 healers. The damage is actually crazy in the last phase. And also, um, you really need a lot of cleansing, so you want to bring like two cleansers if you can. Um, if you have Tamarin, I really recommend putting her on Potion Vial. Um, if you have uh, SSB, she's very, very good here. Um, although you want to be careful because when she counters, like if she is debuffed, just keep in mind like you're gonna proc the um, the uh, counter attack if you miss on the boss, so it's kind of risky. And then S10A or RB is very, very powerful as well because you have all AOE skills. Um, yeah, there's not a debuff cap on this boss, so you can bring as many debuffs as you want. Um, this is the team comp um, I'm going to use. Um, just make sure you bring a lot of AoE and make sure you don't bring Earth units besides maybe Falcon or Clary to defense break because uh, if you miss, just keep in mind you're going to take a lot of damage. Now let's get into the boss fight. And now we have Mr. Carcanus. Uh, I don't want to auto. I guess I could auto this, but I think showing you guys the manual is a lot easier. You even so you'll see my Tamron is debuffed, so she'll have an extra chance to miss. Um, you guys don't want to bother hitting these ads, they legit don't die. You only hit them when you're debuffed, so you don't um, actually proc the miss and the counterattack. Is that all you've got? At least try to make it fun. Run. And I'm most Before likely going to just save my SSB S3 for the stealth at 70%. I probably will get it up in time, but just in case I don't, I don't want to kill the run. And uh, I could cleanse here, but my Tamarin's gonna heal the next turn anyways. And she has Potion Vial, so she'll I, cleanse herself. I, think uh, I'm going I guess to I heal, right? No point not to. Away. Yeah, the ads are just super annoying. They don't really do anything but annoy you. It's so don't worry too much about them. You want to try me? I'll show you what I've got. Mostly just a grind. I will do my best. Uh, I'm gonna actually I potion vial right, so she'll cleanse herself. You can't close your eyes. Hello, shall we? Yeah, not too much of a race. Oh, this is risky because I can miss on the boss when I'm diva. Luckily, I hit. Don't come near me. So SSB is a bit iffy on this boss, guys, but. If you have two healers, you can probably out tank the damage. So here, I'm not gonna hit the boss, right? Since I have the DF, I don't want to miss, so I'll just hit an ad. No, I probably could have tanked through the damage, but I'm just trying to show you guys what you should be doing. Right, honestly, like it being slower is fine, cause I'm building souls. And yeah, this is the annoying part, right? So you'll see, I'm probably gonna hit the boss here or miss the boss here. 
uh, and it didn't counter because Spectre Tenebria can't, can't be countered, so uh, haha, guys. <laughs> but here, here's the counter, right? That's what I'm talking about. Very annoying. A lot of damage, as you can see. So you really want to hit the adds when you uh, have the debuffs. Hopefully I cleanse myself. Uh, I'm gonna S3 Tamarin because she has S3 up. Cleanse the silence off her. And then she can cleanse the entire team. I could have brought a better team comp. Um, probably should have brought like Luluka or something for defense break. That's more consistent than SSP. But it's fine. I will step on you. I'm gonna roleplay as someone who does not have Luluka. Still possible, guys. You just really need to focus on the mechanics, and the bosses are very easy. And the boss is about to stealth soon. So he'll stealth off this. My Tama has AoE attack in her S1, so. There it is. So you'll see I break him out of stealth. You aren't even fit to kiss my feet. Yeah. Defense break very important. You see how much more damage I'm doing? Is, is it my turn? Yeah, the ads can strip you when they auto, so just just the pain in the ass to be honest. The ads are kinda like rats. Before it's too late. And I'm so close to proccing again. It's too late to back out now. There he is, 40% threshold. And you'll see this is when he starts enraging. Yeah. Yup, not fun, guys. This is where you just uh, press that Arky button every turn and pray. Although, I'm gonna Soul Burn S3. Really want to help. I... But if you're not overgearing like I, I am, this is where you just Arky spam. I'll just Arky here. No one can stop us. 28k from Arky, right? Big damn. You can get like 3 of those in a row, the phase is pretty much over. Okay, if you don't have Tamarin, guys, Angelica's okay here too. Immunity's nice versus boss. And just like that, that is uh, Karkonis dead. Make sure you don't yield and uh, you go back. Get your first time reward or your other reward that you get from the boss. And go on to the next one. And after taking down those two bosses, guys, I recommend taking Secretary Vera next. So this boss is going to be... She's pretty annoying to be honest, but as long as you have enough AoE DPS and some cleansing for stuns, you'll be fine. So her main mechanic is that every time she S3s, she summons one spider and three eggs. So you don't want to hit the boss during these um, adds being up because if you hit the boss, she'll counterattack and like stun everyone. Um, so it's pretty annoying. So what you want to do is you want to just clear the adds first and then you can start single targeting the boss. Before then, if you start single targeting the boss, she'll just counterattack and it'll just not be fun. Also, what happens is when you kill the boss, or get the boss of 50%, I think, 50%, um, she'll actually turn into an egg, and then you want to kill the egg before um, she gets her S3 off, otherwise she'll basically res with more stats. Um, but if you don't kill the egg in time, you can still beat the boss, she'll just be more tankier and do more damage, but very recommended that you kill these um, eggs. And yeah, just kill the adds as much as you can, basically, and uh, make sure you get ready for the stun, because every attack she does will be an AoE stun that can hit um, two people and has a 50%. So in effect resist A Momo is really nice here because she can cleanse everyone. And also be ready for um, you know, just having a lot of AOE damage, like I said. So the team comp I run is actually two Soul Evers. I run Tamarin always in every team comp because she's broken. And then I tag her w along with um, A Momo because I want a little bit more cleansing. And then I just have two really powerful AOE DPSs. Um, Village is very good, RB is very good. Um, SSB, I don't really like too much. She is good at killing the adds because they're not Earth Element, but I, she doesn't do that much damage to the boss because she misses a lot. So I don't really like her. Um, you can also bring like Spectre Tenebria. Um, Bomb Model Kana is very good. Caesar Rado is very good. There's so many options. Just anything with AoE in like two or more abilities is just a very strong unit. Now let's get into the boss fight, guys, and you'll see why I say this boss is super annoying. Here we go. We have to hit the worm now. So she summons the adds in the beginning. You'll see three eggs and one spider. I'm scared. Um, you don't have to worry about attacking when you're debuffed against this boss, but you really want to kill the adds ASAP. You want to try me? Is that all you've got? At least 
least try to make it fun. Perfect. Right. Shall we clean up? I'll get my S2 off here after my S3. I don't think this is a one shot, but it'll be close. And stun chance. So they got stunned, unlucky, but I can cleanse. This is why I really like a Momo here. Um, yeah, and if I attack the boss here with this, it'll actually uh, counter. I would show you guys, but I kind of don't want to get countered. Because it is a stun, so it's really bad to get countered against this boss. There he goes again. Hey, Momo's OP here, guys. And you'll see because the ads are dead, I don't get countered here. And the mystery of life thing is just that every four turns he gets attacked, actually. Um, what happens is that he'll just get CR me? pushed. Very annoying to deal with. I don't even know where it is. Is it here? Wait. Yeah, every four best. attacks he gets. Or when you attack an ally of his. He's just, uh, you know, permacy seeing my team because it's fun. Don't come near He's having a lot of fun. Ah! Yup. Very fun. And yeah, you don't want these to hatch. If these hatch, it's basically GG. But it's pretty hard to let them hatch. Um, I think I'm going to freeze it. Shall we clean up? There we go. Clear the ads. You aren't even fit to kiss my feet. Uh, I guess I have to do this, huh? You disgust me. See, I pushed the boss back with that. Nice. And you're just kind of just waiting to get this to uh, fifty percent to start the next phase. Egg hatches, and you'll see every time an egg hatches, he heals. So that's why you don't want these eggs to hatch, because they'll just heal him to full HP. I really hope I click the spider. Okay, I do. This is my justice. Do you have nothing left to say? Listen to me sing, ladies and gentlemen. I will do my and... best. Here I go. <laughs> All right. Show so yeah, immunity is really nice against this boss. So Angelica does have her merits against this boss. I'm waiting. Um, yeah. You can't close your eyes. Let's see our pushing mirror. Don't come near me. I'll help you. It's going to be okay. If they won't get out of But it's way. fine. I'm stacking souls, so. I think I'm going to faint. Heal a bit. Not bad. Look into my eyes. Say my name. You're just kind of rinse and repeating, right? All right. Shall we clean up? Attack down. So I'm gonna do no damage. Is it my turn? Uh, I really Let don't want this attack down. Oh, I guess I have Tamron coming up. I'm kind of trolling here. But it's okay. It's PvE, guys. Oh, uh, I guess I soften this up. I should be able to phase the boss here. Shall we go? Dancing blade. I hope. I just I'll do my best. please phase him. Phase him. One HP off. Oh, I'll get him here. So All right. Shall we clean up? Just realized my aim was on a bad artifact, huh? So you'll see 50%. She'll turn into an egg. Oh, also, you know, attack you one more time because why not? Me? And then you want to burst through the egg as fast as you can. Basically, just ignore these ads. Um, they just spam you with debuffs, but it's okay. 
aren't even fit to kiss my feet. I'd say you could arc you like once here. But you really want to save it for the last phase, because that's when she starts spawning a lot of ads. I'll help you. you can't so I'll arc you once here. Probably shouldn't have done on Tama's turn. Because I want to reduce the cooldown, but it's fine. And she's gonna heal every turn and then our S3 she'll res. Don't come near me. <laughs> There's no escape. Ever. Boom, one shot? Close. I'll keep going. It's going to be okay. I I think Go I'm going away. to away. Yeah, I'll be able to get it on my villager's turn here, as long as I'm not like provoked. Oh, I'm provoked. He can still go into the uh, egg here. Yes, sir. Now she reses. And now you have to kill her. Uh, you don't really want to focus the adds here, um, just because uh, I've tried to do this before, and by the time you kill the adds, the boss is already dead to the AoE damage. Uh, and you don't get the penalty for these two. Uh, like The boss will counterattack you when these two little squirp... What are these guys? Beetles are up? But when the other adds are up, she'll counterattack you. I keep saying she and he to the boss, but I don't know if it's a dude or girl, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think you guys can tell why. Okay, just keep hitting this guy, or girl. You know, get all these debuffs, and then you'll see she'll st start uh, spawning the eggs again, and you want to start killing them. You can Arky at this point as well, if you really want to. I'm probably going to Arky on my Amomo's team. Or my able most turn because this is the last phase of the fight. Ta-da! Ta Sacred, Sacred power. Nice. You aren't even fit to kiss Big damage. Um, I'm not gonna hit. Oh, I should have. No, oh, it doesn't. S10 doesn't proc right. counter. But if that it? wasn't S10, you don't want to go into the boss like that because, uh, yeah. But I was planning to just have Gilder do this and then S2 into the other end. So yeah. Now they spam provoke and strip because they're being annoying. Hopefully it doesn't go on both my DPS here. Okay, that's fine. Shall we go? And you'll see your skill cooldowns really short in this phase. So it's very annoying. Don't come near me. And this boss is almost dead. This is my just takes a while. Because the boss uh, just heals a lot. It's kind of annoying. You want to try me? Uh, can I kill you? Nah, no way. You aren't even fit to I think if I had one more soul burn from S3, I would have. Not bad. But you'll see like right as I'm about to kill the boss, the ad's about to die, so. I'll keep going. Yeah, no point in focusing the ad. <laughs> Spawn more eggs. Uh, sure, I'll burn it. Get the S2 proc off the ad dying, and boss is dead next turn. I hope. Attack me down. This should be really strong, though. Get me out of here. Nice. And that's Secretary Vera. Not that bad, guys. Um, it's just, you need a lot of AoE damage. That's the best way to put it. And uh, yeah, make sure you don't yield and go through this portal and get your, your goodies. And now the fourth boss I recommend is Julie of Council. So this boss is not too complicated. It's just that there's a lot of debuffs and a lot of damage. So you're going to want to run two cleansers no matter what. Lilius is very strong in this one specifically because... This boss will poison you to hell and do a lot of damage. So basically what happens is uh, he basically attacks a random enemy and they will poison you. And then what th happens is uh, the poison will always um, ignore effect resist. So even if you have a really high ER a Momo, she'll get poisoned. And what happens is every single turn that you take damage from the poison, you'll poison another um, teammate. So you kind of like to spread the poison around, hence you know the word plague is the skill. Um, so very annoying, so you want to make sure you cleanse all the poisons all at once, just so that it doesn't spread. And the reason you want to do that is because, uh, so his S3 is going to be, uh, 
strip and then it'll make the poisons last even longer and then it'll also penetrate your defense for you know poisons on you so very very annoying and also um with the poisons guys there's going to be one more mechanic so basically at 70 percent 40 percent he's gonna split into three and then one of them is going to be the main one quote unquote main boss and two of them are clones and you have to kill the main one to end the phase and you'll combine back together and just keep killing the boss normally um, and during this phase, every single turn your team takes will take damage, so it's very healing intensive as, as well. So I really recommend two healers and cleansers. Um, Angie, a Momo's good, a Momo Tamarin's good. You can even take three and if you have one really good DPS, because the DPS check is not that bad. It's mostly like a heal and cleanse check. Um, but yeah, you really want to make sure you have the healing and cleansing to get through this boss. It's mostly just a heal check, so your units just need to be fast. It's mostly, yeah, it's going to be a gear check for your speed, basically, on your cleansers and healers. Um, so I recommend taking two or three cleansers, and then you can take one DPS or two DPS. Um, you don't really need AOE DPS. You can run like Seal or Rena or whatever, but I like running AOE DPS because when he splits, you don't actually know which one's the main one. So you have to kind of guess. So AOE DPS just kind of like makes it faster. So but yeah, you can take a single target. It's not that bad. Um, you can even run one single target, like one Seal or Rena or Luna, and then like three healers, and it's fine as well. Now, without further ado, let's kill this B-looking guy. And here he is, Julie Council, the poison, and he'll attack twice, and you'll see on my turn I spread the poison to my Aemomo, and then you'll also see on my Aemomo's turn, she's going to spread the poison to someone else. I will step on you. All right. So Aemomo is really good here because yes, she can cleanse a lot, but when things get really, really out of hand, you can just soul burn S3 and cleanse two off of everyone. So she spread is once it, everyone. My turn to everyone. So I'll cleanse one and my potion vial here will cleanse it off of Tamarin before it spreads. Unless she gets another one, and she did. I, so yeah, I you'll see the poison right. spreading is very annoying. You want to try me? Huh? If they won't get out of the way, we'll cut our way through. I'll keep going. Uh, I'm just gonna actually... Oh, regular S3. I was gonna Soul Burn, but you only really want to worry a lot about the poisons when he's about to S3 you. you can't close your so eyes. I think I can survive. Go away. I'll help you. That must have been painful. You aren't even fit to kiss Take my feet. Shall we go? And you'll see how much damage this does. Because I not fully cleansed pretty decent amount, I'm scared. and the poisons last even longer. Yes. Don't come near me. Uh, I will do my best. Now, kind of just waiting for my Tamron S3 right. to be honest. Shall we clean up? I think the boss might split here. Yep, here he goes. And every single turn I take now, I'll take damage. It's a very intensive healing check. Good thing I have Tamron S3 up though, guys, so I can full cleanse. Very OP. And you see everyone's taking damage every turn. And you don't really need to save your Arky for any phase. All the phases are like pretty similar. I guess the last phase is pretty nice to Arky in. Um, I'll go over why when it is the last phase. But yeah, just focus on one and just pray you get the right one. If they won't get out of the way, this we'll is my through. justice. <laughs> Listen to me sing together. Uh -oh. <laughs> you aren't even fit to kiss uh -oh. my feet. Uh -oh. I'll keep going. It's going to be okay. <laughs> 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 Shall we go? Yeah, I think these have like a higher dual attack chance as well, so you can get a little surprised by the damage at times. And I killed the wrong one, so I gotta kill another one. And that was the right one, so the phase ends, and we repeat. All right, shall we clean up? Also guys, I forgot to mention though, but during that phase when I'm taking damage, he actually drains your souls. So you actually want to like either end it fast, so your souls don't all get drained, or use it during like the first phase or the second phase of when he's combined. 
kind of forgot to mention a big point, <laughs> but yeah, you can't really save your Arkies. I kind of I forgot. Think I'm going to faint. Poison, very nice. Cool mechanic. You want to try me? Shall we go? Huh. Uh, I will do my best. Um. Okay, my there tavern will cleanse my Amomo here and end the poison. Nice. Eyes. Go away. You aren't even fit to kiss my feet. Look into my eyes. Say my name. If they won't get out of the way, we'll cut our way through. I'm scared. Listen. Do my song. I'll do my best. Shine free. I'll help you. Not bad. Very close to uh, splitting the boss here. I think they should be able to do it. Shall we go? One more turn. Here we go. So yeah, you'll see my souls keep getting drained, so uh don't come near me. Might just S3 on someone's turn here. Or not S3, Arky. I'll keep going. Information time. No one can stop. I'll be at two souls after and look how look how it drops again. I will see I lost a soul. Or two souls. Alright, shall we clean up? Not bad. Huh? I will do my best. Now after this phase, you'll get into the last phase. I think I'm going to Pretty identical to the first and second phase of the boss. Except that every turn he buffs himself with a random buff. If they won't get out of the way, we'll cut our way through. Oh, I got the right one on the first try. Nice. Yeah, so he'll buff himself every turn now. Um, the most annoying one is probably um, Barrier, to be honest. Having Unbuffable here is pretty nice, though, if you can. But it's not too big of a deal. As long as you have a lot of healing, you'll be fine. Shall we go over here? You'll see he gets a buff. Speed buff. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm scared. Listen. Do my song. Listen to me sing. Shine free. Is is it my turn over here? If they won't get out of the way, we'll cut our way through. Don't come near me. What buff does he get? Please no barrier. I do a tamarind to strip though. Oh, he got speed buff again. Can I strip? Nice. I don't think he should fall here. There's Arky after. Oh, actually, I don't need to. My S10 will go. Save time on the animation. And he is dead. Just a healing and cleansing check, guys. Not too big of a deal. Make sure you don't yield once again. Very important. I might have done it once, so I'm going to remind you guys every single time now. I'm sorry, but it is very painful if you do. And now you guys can kill the queen. Um, you guys could have killed it after killing the first two bosses, but I recommend killing the queen last, and let's get into that boss. Yeah, I was originally going to record all the bosses in one video, but I guess I have to do the first four only because my OBS kind of died as I was killing the last boss. So I actually will have to show you the queen in a separate video, which I'll release in the future. But for now, it's going to be the first four bosses only. I apologize, my OBS bugged out, but I'll show you guys the stats that I used for my units for these first four runs. Thank you. 